Hi, this is Barb Cooper from HelpMySquashGame.com and here we are in Toronto in the summer, in the sun. It's a fantastic day and I've just come back from Disney World. I had an amazing time there and I learned so many different things about Walt Disney and, and how people can dream and how people can actually create those dreams and make them come true. And I met two guys when I came back from Western Australia who are here in Canada and they have a fantastic idea. Check this out. So here we are and I've just come across two guys who've got the most exciting project I've come across in years with squash. This is Wayne Cowell and Mike Cornish from Western Australia and they're here in Canada. You've got to tell the viewers what you're doing. Well, um, Barb, it's exciting and innovative and the, the inflatable squash courts are just something that um, we're quite passionate about and uh, moving the sport in a long, along in the exposure area that we've been wanting to do for a, for a long time or what the sport's needed to do for a long, long time. Did you say inflatable squash court? That's right, inflatable squash court. Kind of like a bouncy car so you can hit a ball in. Wow. So does that mean you could put this in like car parks and schools and any place? Look, Barb, literally anywhere. anywhere. Okay, wherever you've got a space um, with, a, with a floor in it, you can expose the game of squash to anybody at any time. Oh my God. So the clubs could use it as a promotion tool. Squash Canada, Squash Ontario could actually get it out to everybody so that they really, the masses saw squash. Look, we've taken this game, we've taken this game out of the squash centre and we've taken it to over 20, to more in the last five years, 80,000 people in the regions of WA and across Australia. You, you can't ask for anything better as a promotional tool. What an unbelievable promotional tool. Now, give us your website. What's the website we could see this on? The website's gosquash.com.au. Gosquash.com.au. Dot au. Guys, you have to check this out. Unbelievable. You guys are geniuses. Has anyone told you that? Well, no, I'm no, telling no. you now, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much for coming down and sharing this vision with us. Thanks, Isn't that going to get squash out to the masses? So many people say they don't see squash on TV, but if they saw it in every schoolyard and if in every playground and it, on every parking lot, boy, they'd start to understand what this game could do. And thinking about that sort of stuff, I picked up while I was away a book that is fascinating. It's How to Be More Like Walt. Um, and it's written by Pat Williams and Jim Denny. You know what? As I'm reading this book, the biggest thing I've got to tell you is you can do whatever you want to do, whether it's with squash or anything else. It is possible as long as you have a clear vision, you keep that vision well in front of you all of the time, and then you keep making your steps one at a time going towards it. And in, that ter in those terms, let's think about what's going on right now. Now it's summer. We're in our preparation phase of our training. That means you should be doing volumes of work. I'm talking about hours on the court, hours doing aerobic activity, long runs, lots of hitting the ball solo, lots of drills getting your skills to improve, getting your accuracy improved, getting your rate of work to improve. And that's what you should be doing now in the off season. And now it's time for Ask Barb. And I had a question from a viewer that says, how can I stop my wrist hurting? And this always raises a bit of a red flag with me because so many people think squash is a risky game. And truthfully, it's not. Your arm should be loose, your body should be loose, and your wrist should be giving the last minute direction to the ball. But you're definitely not creating your power through your wrist. It comes, as I've said to you before, from your feet, from your core, from your shoulders, from your arm, and then finally from your wrist. So in order to stop your wrist hurting so much, my suggestion to you is start driving your Ferrari. What does that mean? Well, your, your body's your Ferrari. Your wrist is your steering wheel. You're trying to drive 
an eight cylinder car or a 12 cylinder car and trying to create the power with your steering wheel. You wouldn't do that in a car. Don't do it on the squash court. Try and get the shot to come from your body and your timing with your wrist giving it steering. That's my thought for the day. And this is Barb Cooper from HelpMySquashGame.com signing off. I hope you have a fantastic time on the squash court.